hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can create this simple responsive navigation menu with tailwind css in react.js so here as you can see we have this navigation menu at the top and this navigation menu is responsive let's see it for different screen sizes so here i am reducing the screen size here as you can see the menu has been disappeared and now we have this hamburger menu icon right and that is similar for smaller devices so now if we click here then we can see that the menu items are visible and if we increase the device size then we can see that we have normal navigation menu present okay so that's how it's working so this basic responsive navigation menu we are going to create in this tutorial by using tailwind css in react.js so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started okay so i have created a directory called tailwind responsive nav and here we are going to install our project and for that i am going to use next.js next.js is a react framework so there will be no change whatever i will do here you can do it with create react app as well but i prefer to use next.js so that's why i am going to use this one so i am going to install it now after installing it we need to install tailwind css so i am going to copy this command and paste it here and after that and here are some configurations specifically for react.js if you are using create react app then you can follow the steps provided here okay which are also pretty similar but a few things are little bit different so it will be good if you follow these steps which are mentioned over here if you are using create react app but as i am using next.js so i am going to follow this one here i need to go to this tailwind.config.js and here for the content i will use this and then for the global css i need to provide this one and now let's run our app npm run dev so here we can check it in localhost 3000 so here our project is running so now i can get rid all of this code and also here i am going to use this one so here our tailwind css is working perfectly fine so now first i'm going to create a folder called components and within components i'm going to create main navigation.js and here i'm going to return this text as of now let's export it so that we can use it here so here i have imported main navigation we can see the main navigation and then after that here i have created a body and here i am going to provide a text simple responsive navigation menu with tailwind css and now let's import that here as well so here we can see these both components are present now we need to focus here so here i am going to create our main navigation and here for this tutorial i am not following proper project structure because i am not creating any website or template in next.js i am just showing you how to create a simple responsive navigation menu with tailwind css in react on next.js so that is what i am focusing on and in next tutorial i am going to create a complete landing page in next.js on that i am going to follow a proper project structure 
So if you are interested in learning how to create a landing page in Next.js by using Tailwind CSS then you can let me know by commenting down below. I am going to publish it very soon and if you are watching this tutorial in future then probably that video has been published already then you can check that video from the link given in the description. So here first I am going to create header and for the header let's provide some classes and here I am going to provide a border bottom and for the border I am going to provide this grey color and let's provide some padding at the top and bottom. So here we can see the border. Now after that let's create a div and for this div let's provide flex item center and justify between because within this I am going to provide the logo and the navigation items. So for the logo I have already a logo image here. So this image I am going to use. So here we have the logo and the nav items section. But this navigation menu expanded throughout the available space. I don't want that. I want some space free at the left and right side of this navigation. So for that I am going to use max width 7xl. So that means here you can see it will be 1280 pixel wide. So I am going to use this one for margin left and right I am going to use auto. So here we can see that it has been aligned properly as I wanted. Now let's create the navigation. For the navigation class name I am going to use flex item center and with auto. And within it I am going to create unordered list and then I am going to provide list item. And here we will have the menu items. Now let's provide some styling for this unordered list and the list item. For this unordered list I am going to provide text base so that means a font size of 16 pixel or 1 rem and then I am going to provide a gray color which will be gray 700 so this will be applied to the all list items and then for this navigation items let's provide some styles and that will be px5 that means padding left and right and let's provide some padding at the top and bottom as well and then let's provide a color for hover state it is text blue 700 now let's save it it's working perfectly fine right and also along with it i'm going to provide font semi bold okay now let's copy this one several times and now i'm going to quickly change the text of these items So we have the items present here but it's not aligned properly and for that here let's provide flex and justify between in the unordered list. So here we can see our menu items present properly and for this login menu item we will have a different style which will be a button type style. So let's create that. So here it will not be hover instead it will be bg blue that means background color will be this blue for the text color it will be text white okay so that means the white color text will be here let's provide some border radius so here i'm going to use rounded excel so that means 12 pixel border radius now save it so here we can see it and for this one I'm not going to use this semi bold and for this padding left and right I'm going to use 6 so now it's looking good now let's make it responsive and for that let's inspect element and here we can see that this is how it's behaving which I don't want I want in small screen sizes also have some space left at both of these sides let's go here and here i have provided that width max width which is good but for small screens i want 
max width as 100% but along with that I am going to provide padding both the sides of it which is 8% and now we have some warning that we are using two max width which is conflicting and to fix it here i am going to provide a breakpoint so this one i am going to use for the extra large screens so that means screens which are more than 1280 pixel wide for those i am going to use this property and for the other one i am going to use this one and this mx auto this margin left and right auto this is also applicable for this one so here also I need to provide that breakpoint now let's see so here we can see that we have some space left at both the sides and it's now looking quite good right and for the larger width it is having the width of this 7xl that means 1280 pixel right and when we have less than 1280 pixel then it is having this max width full and this 8 pixel padding so now it's little bit responsive but not fully because here we can see that it is breaking so now we need to provide the menu icon and after clicking on that menu icon these items will be appeared at the bottom of the section so now we need to create that and for that first we need to install react icons package so it has been installed right now again run our project by using this command and here I am going to import this menu icon from this react icons package and then let's use it here it will be hidden for the large screens okay so this is the breakpoint which I am using otherwise it will be visible so that's why I am using this display block then I am going to provide a height and width for it and a cursor pointer and also this one will be block for this large width otherwise it will be hidden as of now so here we can see that it's working so now we need to make this functional so after clicking on this the menu will appear so for that we need to introduce state so here i am going to create a state called open and we can set it by set open and we can create the state by this use state hook from react and by default it will be set to false and for the on click of this menu i am going to set open as reverse of it so that means if it is set to false after clicking on this one it will be set to true and if it is set to true then it will set it to as false and now based on that here this block and hidden will be present so that's why here we need to use template literal and here let's check for that if the open is true then it will be block otherwise it will be hidden now save it let's see so by default it is false click here so it is set to true now we can see the menu items so it is setting it true and false so it's working perfectly fine now we need to make this layout vertically positioned so that it is presented to the user properly otherwise our menu function is working perfectly fine now right so now let's make it appear properly so for that this flex property will be set for lg breakpoint and this with auto as well here this flex is also for this ul and here for this px5 and for this main wrapper div here it will be flex wrap so it is vertically aligned and also here we need to provide width full okay so here we need to provide width full for this nav now let's see so here we can see the item
so here i have provided block for all the menu items and now these items are positioned properly so this is the navigation and it's working perfectly fine right so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and let me know by commenting down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye